Okay, so another prosperity dose to add to the mix. And this is coming back full circle on really practicing energy exfoliation. And so if you've worked with me, you know what those steps look like. And it's to help you move from unconscious to conscious, right? The whole idea here is that if you're going to embody prosperity and feel that, right, in every moment, how much ease and flow and support and love are you willing to receive? This reflects in every area of your life, right? From compliments. Can you receive a compliment and simply just say, thank you. I appreciate that. I received that, right? You choose to receive that because it is a clear declaration to the universe that you are worthy of receiving that. Thank you for that reflection as opposed to getting a compliment and shutting it down or saying, oh no, oh, you shouldn't have, right? Think about those words, the power of that. So at every level, that's what embodiment is. And where you see like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to call in prosperity, but how do I get to be that in every moment? And when you see that you're vibrating, right, out of alignment, that's what's being called forth to witness. And that's what you get to practice in the moment so that you're micro aligning in all of your systems, your mind, your body, and your soul, that you're vibrating your wholeness, that you're vibrating from the place of, I already am fulfilled. I already am enough. I am prosperous. That is abundance. So how we do that to vibrate a abundance to vibrate prosperity is to vibrate appreciation if you appreciate yourself and love yourself for who you are in the moment whole worthy complete fulfilled satisfied and simply noticing that you know I know that Abundance is everywhere and in everything and nothing is lacking within me. There is nothing to seek, right? In this moment, my heart is beating. In this moment, I have plenty of air to breathe. In this moment, I have ground beneath my feet. So that means that in this moment, I actually have everything I require to take the next little step but then you go to the next moment and practice in this moment I have breath I have a heartbeat and I have a ground beneath my feet to take the next step and as you practice this this tiny tiny little aligned action it's the practice of being complete it's the practice of being fulfilled of being whole and so when you practice from that place of I have everything I require in this moment to take the next step, then there's nothing lacking within you. There's nothing to seek. There's no money. There's no nothing. And then you get to reverse it. Or go, oh, actually, I am so freaking taken care of. I, I actually, you are now in the energy of I am prosperous. Of course I am. I'm, of course I'm rich. I'm rich in breath. I'm rich in heartbeat. I'm rich with ground beneath my feet to take the next step. In any level of your experience right now, you can choose to see abundance everywhere and in everything and how supported you are, or you can choose to not. It's a reflection point that I practice around everything in every moment. Right, what could, what could I see in bounty versus what can I notice that's missing? It's energy either way, so it's always a choice. I see infinite possibilities available in the universe, right? Your construct of consciousness that you're choosing to see it out of right now is just based on your perceptions and programs that, that you've understood up to this point. So if you're open to it, 
and you can be with it and see it and say, oh, oh, let me allow myself to to evaluate this pattern and behavior that is keeping me in these thoughts of like, I only see what's missing. I only see what I want because when I get there, then I'll be happy. I only see that I'm not enough. So I have to get things to feel like enough and I don't have them now and I'm I'm in lack, right? And it's interesting. You start to pull up these patterns, these behaviors and what your stories were around that. Like, oh, okay, you know, that support, right? support has to look a certain way that I, that you needed it to show up, you know, like for me, it was like, I, I needed to show up in the form of, you know, money and, um, you know, money to take care of my bills, right? People to take care of my chores. And if I didn't receive it in exactly that way, then I was lacking and reaffirming that I am not enough and that there is scarcity. Now I choose to see support in a whole new construct I've totally expanded my definition of support. So I see it showing up for me everywhere and just down to that littlest thing of like, of course, I have support in my own lungs taking in air, right? I, I, I see it everywhere and in everything. I appreciate it. And because I feel it all around me, there's no lack. There's no such thing. Right, And this shows me that I am whole right now. And like, boom, right? My frequency is prosperity, is abundance. And that matches what I'm calling in as my experience. So, and, and the thing here with this is, is there's nothing to mentally figure out because it, it's, it's beyond, right? There's nothing to mentally figure out beyond that because it's moment to moment. So in this moment, where's your abundance? And if you're out of alignment, if you're feeling like you're seeing the lack and you're you're you're, you know, roped into the conditioning of your old stories, then you get to become soft and sweet and curious about it. You get to witness each thing that pops into your field and practice Oh, is that in alignment with I am prosperous, I am abundant, I am in radical self-acceptance, I am worthy. If it's not, then I get to choose differently, right? So if you're tolerating something because like, okay, like, you know, maybe you're like, well, I have to deal with this to get that, right? That's. It, 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 that's an energy of manipulation. It's an energy of transaction. And it's like, if I do this, then I will have that. If you do this for me, then I will give you that. And, you know, that's, that's again, this transactional energy, it's, it's foggy energy. It's, it's chaos. It's, you know, like I'll, I'll, I'll sacrifice, I'll put up with shit. And then, you you put up with shit to try to get something that you think is going to be not shit, but you're in the energy of like, I'm putting up with this. So that's, you just keep getting more of that, right? As your reflection. And maybe that's showing up in the bank account, showing up in friendships, showing up in relationships, right? You, you know, of course it reflects back exactly what you're vibrating, right? So again, bring it all back around, do the energy exfoliation steps in every moment that okay, if I am to vibrate prosperity, which is like abundance, right? I am fully worthy. I am fully supported. Everything is easy because literally now we see everything is available everywhere. Okay. All the goods of the earth are here for all of us. There are no rules from, from the goods. There are no rules from the nature, from the bounty saying who gets what. We do that. We condition ourselves to decide whether or not we're worthy of it, right? So that's, that's where the block is. So the doses that I'm giving here, right? Like the medicine that, that you're seeking around money is actually already within you. There's nothing outside of you. And it's not even, it's, when we want to go one step further than that, let's question, it's not even the money that you're 
that you're yearning for. It's the healing that gets to take place inside of you that will allow you to receive more abundance as a reflection of, of because you are so fully supported, because you are whole, because you are vibrating this. So now, right, this dose, this prosperity dose is time for you to evaluate how you feel you're out of alignment, right? This is something you get to tune into and really contemplate and just be with, right? Just be with, be at peace with what's reflecting for you, what, what is coming up in your system. How are you dealing with, with these reflections? Where are you seeing that you're out of alignment, right? For me, I remember in the past, I would say like, ah, oh, I'm just trying to deal with this money shit. So what was my reflection, right? Like for me to speak that was out of alignment with me feeling abundant. The very fact that I would say money shit, like what is that vibration? That there's a problem, that there's something broken, that there's something I needed to fix, that like I felt like there was this issue um, and if that's how I felt, then of course I'm going to receive that coming in from, from that place. That's what I was vibrating at. Um, you know, feeling ashamed in the past, like, okay, well, you know, here's the story. If I have debt, then I'm, then I'm dumb and stupid, right? So what happened? I had shame around the debt. I hid the debt. I hid from the debt. I stopped making payments. I didn't want to look at statements. I didn't want to know where I was coming from or where I was going. I'm hiding from communication with creditors and banks. I'm avoiding looking at the bank account, right? All this shame and dark energy. And coming from what? This belief that like, uh, if I don't have money, it's so shameful and I'm a dumb naughty little girl, right? So if I don't have money and I'm ashamed, okay, I'm not going to look at it, which is this rejection energy. Like I'm not going to pay attention to it. And then I'm not in alignment with it. So if I continued to operate from that place, what I was saying to universe is like, I can't receive more because I can't even handle and deal with what I have. So you get to you know, look closely at your, at your money story. Like look at your patterns and behaviors. Is there anything that isn't in alignment? Again, for me, it was like, wow, is there anything that isn't in clear communication? Like, like I get to line all this up. I get to be in total integrity around my money, right? So if, if I was in clear communication with, with paying a debt, right? And, and even if it wasn't my own, right? And th that was a big thing for me was I had, I had a debt based on my former husband running up a credit card in my name. So I had shame around so much of that. And my decision to just, I, it's on my name and to be in integrity, I get to clean that up. I get to take full responsibility for that and I get to clean that up. And so how that reflected back is as I took responsibility and came into clear communication with like, wow, how can I make payments on this? How can I, then, then I noticed, you know, how I ask for money for services where I got to be in clear communication. It is in integrity. It is in alignment, right? How I get to serve, how I get to support, and how I speak to my clients about their money stories so I know where they're at, right? It is a reflection all of what you believe you're worthy of and what you have been receiving. So there's no need to create all this disconnect from it. It's simply for you to get curious about like what is showing up there for you around money and how can you support yourself as you become aware of oh what's really there where am I not in integrity where am I not in clear communication and how can I get there you get to clean all of this up which is super cool again that's where the power is so this is the pattern where you see you're out of alignment I get to get in clear communication 
okay, you know, maybe it's getting clear communication with your money, right? The people that you're having transactions with, with money for, um, your bank account, the energy is being sucked, if you think about it, over to these little stress nodes where you're leaking, right? Where you don't feel like you're in integrity and it exists in the field and you're holding that. So upgrading to the level of money that you want to receive means cleaning this up. So this comes back to just the energy exfoliation steps and what you're feeling called to, it gets to be, it gets to be all in alignment. So that is what I invite you to today. A lot of things to reflect on. Super exciting.